Welcome! Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build your own temperature sensor. To begin, grab your breadboard and your microcontroller. Proceed to mount your microcontroller onto your breadboard. Do this by aligning the pins into the holes of the breadboard. To make things easier, I followed the diagram and placed the first pin on the microcontroller labeled RST on row 1B of the breadboard. On the other side of the microcontroller, the first pin which was labeled BAT, was inserted on row H5. This temperature sensor right here is known as a DS18B20. Remember that this sensor works by converting a measurement of resistance to a digital signal of temperature. There are three wires, V+, plus, the red wire, data, the yellow wire, and ground, the black wire. Start by connecting the V plus pin or the red wire on the temperature sensor using pin 9 of the microcontroller using the breadboard. I would connect to row J to fit the resistor in row I later. Then connect the ground pin or the black wire on the temperature sensor to your microcontroller. By first connecting the ground pin of the microcontroller to the negative rail on the breadboard. Then Connect the ground pin on the temperature sensor anywhere on the same negative rail on the breadboard. I do this later in the video to make things more visible, but go ahead and do this now. It should look like this. Then connect the data pin, yellow or green wire, to pin 10 on the microcontroller. Both your red wire and yellow wire should be connected as shown in the corner here. Use the 4.7K ohms resistor to also connect the data and V plus wires by connecting the resistor from pin 9 to pin 10. Once all this is completed, double check to make sure that your connections match the detailed diagrams on Public Sensor's webpage. Now you will need your LCD screen. The front is where your temperature and measurements will be displayed. And the back here is where four pins are connected to your microcontroller via jumper cables. You will also need the other set of jumper cables that came with your kit. These are your male to female cables. Start by gathering four male to female cables. To make things easier on myself, I match the colors with that displayed on the diagrams. After reading through the instructions, I notice that there are four cables attached to the back of the LCD. Red cable to VCC, black cable to GND or ground, orange cable to SDA, and blue cable to SCL. After attaching the color coded cables on the back of the LCD, proceed to connect the red wire VCC to BAT on the microcontroller. Do this by connecting the VCC to the positive rail on the breadboard. Then, using a jumper cable, connect the positive rail to BAT on the pin. Then connect the ground or the black wire to the negative rail. You can then use a jumper cable to connect the ground pin on the microcontroller to the negative power rail. This should have been done in previous steps. Lastly, you will want to connect the SDA orange cable on the LCD to the SDA pin and the SCL blue cable to the SCL pin on the microcontroller. Now that that's covered, you can add a button like we had before. Go ahead and insert it to your breadboard. Finish the connection by using male to male jumper cables. Attach one end of the cable to the ground or negative power rail since it's already been connected via jumper cables in previous steps. Then connect the other end to pin 13 on your microcontroller. If you are having issues connecting your button, here is a better view of how to insert the pins. Remember, you can also look back at the video tutorials to see how to add a button. To finish your circuit, the last thing you will need is to connect your power source. Before doing this, double check again that all your connections match those of the diagrams above. Get your battery in your battery holder and insert the negative end of the battery the black cable to the negative power rail. Then insert the positive end of your battery, the red cable, to the positive power rail. 
this should turn on your LCD displaying hello followed by ready. Once it says ready, you completed your temperature sensors and you can take temperature readings by pressing the button. Congratulations on finishing the activity and thank you for watching.